Have you ever heard somebody deliver an impactful speech and it seemed like they were speaking to you? It went straight from their heart to your heart and stimulated your intellect and your emotions. Have you even heard somebody deliver a classical text like Shakespeare, something quite complex that you might not be familiar with? And it felt very natural. And even though you didn't understand every word in terms of its dictionary definition, you understood it here. And the whole thought landed on you and you were carried away into the world that they were inviting you into with this speech. I'm SJ Harrison and today I'm going to give you some tips on just starting how to think about text and delivering that impactful text. I've been an actor and a playwright and a producer and so my sensitivity to text also comes to you from my experience as a playwright creating as well as delivering. This is one technique that exists in impactful oratory and Shakespeare does it and it's a list almost but it's a list that can go from maybe the small to the large thought. It's a repetition of a kind and I've seen it in Obama's speeches. All the techniques that I'm talking about today exist in his speeches and he's also a compelling speaker. And I was listening to the debates that the Senate is hearing today on impeachment and a congressman I hadn't heard of from Colorado, Jonah Goose, did the same thing. He said, what I experienced that day what you experienced that day, what we experienced that day. It was the use of three. He went from the I to the you to the we. And you can see how that's a very connecting thought, extremely simple, except for the word experienced. All the other words are very, very short, which brings me to point two. And point two is short and long. And if you will, toggling when you're writing between short and long, and you can do that many, many ways. You can have a very short sentence, slightly longer, slightly longer, really long, or you can have three short sentences and then a much longer thought. My guess is, and I, I don't remember exactly what he said because I was kind of moving around, but that after he said the last of those three, what we experienced that day, he went into a much longer thought. So the rule of three can be a great springboard for then a more complex, encompassing thought. So tempo rhythm, thinking if you're someone who plays music, really understanding text through the lens of music can be quite helpful, that there are really technical things and technical structures within impactful text, and we can construct them intentionally when we're giving a speech or a TED talk or even a presentation at a meeting. So the next thing is, looking at my notes there, the pause, the art of the pause. And so that was an example of the art of the pause. But there's another way in which the pause plays a role in the middle of a thought. And I just did it then. There's another way, lift, instead of a, a held moment, there's another way in which the pause plays a role in the middle of a sentence. So by lifting, I call it a lifted moment. If that doesn't speak to you, just think about it as a pause, but you're not dropping your energy. You might breathe in that pause, which I'm doing now, or you might not, which holds the sense of tension. So you're lifting the thought, allowing the ears of your hearer to catch up and then allowing the rest of the thought to land. So those are the three things I'll leave you with today. In my final lesson of Foundations of Performance, which you can find on my website, I go all through impactful text, how to create it, how to deliver it. There's PDFs that you download as part of that lesson and we work on it in depth. And here's to unlocking your performance power, sjharrisoncoach.com is where you can find that free video series. Thank you.